Throughout human history, humans have been aware that offspring resemble their parents, but it wasn't until the 1800s that these observations could be explained. Gregor Mendel, through his work on pea plants, was the first to discover the fundamental laws of inheritance, and thus is often referred to as the father of modern genetics. Mendel probably chose to study garden peas because they were easy to grow and they came in many readily distinguishable varieties. For example, one variety had yellow peas and the other one had green ones. In this case, the color of the peas is called a character, whereas each of the variants, green and yellow, are the traits. As a result of several experiments in which he tracked the inheritance of different characters, Mendel was able to come up with several hypotheses, which we will review using modern terminology. One, there are alternative versions of a gene that account for the variations of a character. We will call these gene variants alleles. Two, for each inherited character, an organism inherits two alleles, one from each parent. Three, if the two alleles of an inherited pair differ, then one determines the organism's appearance, and we refer to this allele as the dominant allele. The other allele has no noticeable effect and is called the recessive allele. A sperm or egg, so a gamete, only carries one allele for each character. This is because during meiosis, the allele pair at one gene is segregated so that each gamete receives only one allele from the pair. This is known as Mendel's law of segregation. Mendel's second law can be thought of as an extrapolation of the first and is called the law of independent assortment. This law states that the separation of two alleles at one locus has no effect on the separation of an allele pair at another locus during meiosis. Let's use a Punnett square to look at one of Mendel's crosses which looked at the color of peas. In this cross, the letter Y is used to represent the color of the peas. The dominant trait is yellow and is given an uppercase Y. The recessive trait is green and is given a lowercase y. The parents in this cross are each homozygous, either for the dominant trait or the recessive trait. The alleles of one parent are listed individually across the top, while the alleles of the other parent are listed individually down the left side. A Punnett square can then be used to predict the offspring of this cross. This generation is referred to as the first generation, or F1, and their phenotype would be yellow, and the genotype would be big Y, little y. The F1 can be crossed to get the second generation, or F2. And once again, a Punnett square can be used to predict the outcome of this cross. According to the Punnett square, when two F1 are crossed, any F2 offspring has a 3 in 1 chance, or a 75% probability, of having yellow peas as opposed to green peas.